Danny Blythe looking at the UN points. Remember this is for acupuncture students only, please pause and read. From the Shu points we've got the Jingwell points where the Qi bubbles to the surface, the Ying spring points where it starts to flow, and what we're interested in is the Shu stream points where the Qi flows or pours. And in the case of the Yin Yuan source points, this is the same point as the Shu stream point and the earth point. The Yang Yuan source points are the next point. So they're either the fourth or in the case of the gallbladder, the fifth point on the channel. So these points are found at the wrist and the ankle. This is where the Qi is distal enough to be still very dynamic, um, but proximal enough that it's starting to flow in a direction, so easily accessed. If we look at the character, we, the old character had water flowing to the surface and flowing out in all directions, which became um, white or clear and water. So this was a spring, and then the outer part of the character here is a cliff. So it's like the source of a spring. There are three types of qi. We've got zong qi, the qi of the air and the lungs, gu qi from food and digestion. What we're talking about here is the yuan qi, which originates in the ming men between the kidneys and gets expressed as an expression of jing via the triple burner. And this is the type of chi that these points connect with. It's a very versatile. Uh, the yin points, most common points for tonification. In five element acupuncture, these are regarded as being very safe points. So they're the first points that we'll use to test a CF. And they usually come in their pairs to treat the element. They also support other points. So we're doing later on in treatment doing a spirit point entry exit block or some sort of um, any sort of block we often support with the source points at the end of treatment um, in the classics it talks about these points um, being observed for dips or swellings for deficiency or fullness of the organ and also palpated so we can palpate them like we do the front move points um, as part of our diagnosis. We can palpate them and use them as distal points for channel problems, especially the yang channels. And the yin are more nourishing, the yang more clearing. And points, we need to know all of their names. And they all have a character for great in their name. So lung great abyss, pericardium the great burial mound, liver the great surge, spleen great white or great clarity, and kidney great stream or great ravine. The exception, I'll explain why later, is heart seven, which is called Shen Men or Spirit Gate. Being earth points, we'd expect these points to be nourishing, uh, but also to be grounding and settling. Nine tonifies all aspects of lung qi, zong qi, wei qi, and nourishes lung yin. Seven nourishes both aspects of heart, so heart qi and yang nourishes heart, blood and yin. It can calm the Shen, clear heart fire, and also treat the spirit. Pericardium 7 is used in a similar way and especially tonifies the uh, heart protector. Liver 3 nourishes liver yin and blood, also strengthens the liver chi and strengthens the spirit. It can also calm the spirit by either moving the liver chi or subduing liver yang or liver heat. Spleen 3 is used to tonify spleen qi or yang. It's also an excellent point to resolve damp, especially in the head, being at the other end of the channel. It treats the e, especially when the concentration is disturbed by damp, and also has the effect being connected to the muscles of strengthening the muscles, especially the spinal muscles. 3 strengthens kidney qi and yang, but also nourishes kidney yin, jing, and Yuan Qi, the expression of Jing, especially good for strengthening the lower back and knees, and it has a regulating effect um, on the uterus. From this grounding and nourishing, and the fact that all of these can be used with their re relevant Yang organ to strengthen the element, um, Lung 9 is also the Hui point of the vessels. 
So it affects the pulse if the pulse is very low and energy is very low and it affects blood circulation so it can be used for poor circulation and for some bleeding. Protector of the heart, pericardium 7 can be used for toxic heat, especially used for skin conditions. Recent point combination, um, liver 3 and large intestine 4 is called the four gates and this is used um, to calm the mind um, to use to relieve spasm and to send excess chi from the head. Spleen 3 not only is used for damp but also damp heat and it's great for harmonizing the stomach. Used to clear their main pathogens, so lung 9 for phlegm, pericardium 7, heart 7 for heat or toxic heat, liver 3 for chi stagnation, spleen 3 for damp or damp heat, kidney 3, kidney doesn't really have an excess. Source points can particularly tonify the yang aspect of the elements. So large intestine 4 tonifies the metal element and also strengthens the qi and has a relationship to the exterior. It's used for sweating. Swollen intestine 4 can tonify the swollen intestine and the fire element. Triple burner 4 tonifies the triple burner and the yuan qi and it's especially good for fluid metabolism being the triple burner. It can make an excellent point to uh, tonify the kidneys. Gallbladder 40 tonifies the wood and the hun, especially the yang aspects of wood for assertion timidity. Stomach 42 is an underused point for tonifying the spleen and stomach because it's hard to locate and hard to needle properly. It doesn't get used as much as it should do. Bladder 64 can be used to tonify the bladder and kidneys, strengthen the back and tonify the water and the jur, the willpower. And the yang yuan points are great points for clearing. So large intestine four expels wind. You can expel wind cold with lung seven or wind heat with triple burner five or large intestine four. It's also said to benefit the face. It was one of Gao Wu, who was a Ming dynasty doctor's command points. And it was the command point of the face. It's used for headaches, um, sinus pain, problems of the problems of the head and cheeks and as mentioned it makes up the four gates with liver three. Swollen intestine four is an excellent point to clear out the whole of the swollen intestine channel. Gallbladder 40 is excellent for smoothing liver chi and it's often used with liver three. It's also a good distal point for the gallbladder channel which gets a lot of problems. Two can also be used to harmonize the stomach and has a calming effect. And bladder 64 can subdue rebellious chi um, from the head and eyes, much like large intestine 4, but less used. It can also eliminate wind, much like large intestine 4, but it's much less used for either internal or external wind. Congratulations on getting this far. Um, quick bit of history. So Ling Shu 1, the um, spiritual pivot mentions the 12 source points emitting um, at the four gates. So the four gates here refers to the wrists and the ankles. And the four gates um, are used to treat the five zhang, the five yin organs. So if the five yin organs have disease, you ought to use these 12 source points. Interestingly, the 12 source points that listed were lung, liver, kidney, spleen and pericardium, not the heart. So pericardium 7 was listed as the um, UN source point for the heart. And also REM15 for the Gao and REM6 for the Huang. The Gao Huang being the area below the heart and above the diaphragm where chronic disease was said to linger. So a Gao Huang disease was an incurable disease and um, bladder 43 is called Gao Huang Shu, that's used for very chronic disease. The difficulty is number 66, the, um, the Yuan source points that we're more familiar with are listed. So it lists 12 source points again, but these are a liver and it gives the names um, Tai Chong, the ones that we're more familiar with. The only exception is that the heart is called Xiao Yin and it's 
point is listed as being Dwaiku, which is protuberant bone, which is an alternative name for heart seven. Um, the heart points weren't discussed until um, the Jia Yi Jing a little bit later, around about 300 AD. Thanks for listening and happy studying.